Well, hello. It's uh, early morning right now. It's 9 a.m. <laughs> and uh, today we're going to make a video on kind of what you can expect if you want to make 100,000 won in a day. We're also going to be reviewing our new modes of transportation, which we'll introduce really soon. We don't use a uh, Elekel anymore for deliveries. We both have e-bikes, so we'll kind of show them off and talk about their strengths and weaknesses. We've never done a day of 100,000 won before, so don't think that this is something we do all the time. <laughs> We normally do about 50,000 to like 70,000 per day. For me, 30,000 <laughs> to 50,000. <laughs> <laughs> so this will be kind of a challenge too. We've been doing food deliveries in Seoul since August 2021. And in our last video, we stated that you can make between 12 and 30,000 won per hour doing deliveries depending on the time and the weather. Since then, there has been a huge explosion of people doing food deliveries to get by, even including some people in their 60s. The supply has exceeded the demand, and the little golden age of deliveries in Mapugu we experienced in 2021 has ended. This video will show you exactly what you can expect as a food delivery person working on a weekend during the day, as that's the only time it'd be worth trying to make 100,000 won in a single day without just sitting on the side of the road waiting for new deliveries to come. Technically it was a rest day for the presidential election, but it would be the same as working on a Saturday or Sunday where lots of people are relaxing at home ordering delivery. Also weekends are unique where there is only one major peak time for food delivery around dinner time, where you can receive about 5,000 won per delivery. Can we make it to 100,000 won before the peak time? Let's find out. Hey, First one success. My third delivery was a birthday cake from Paris Baguette. You can see in the top right corner, I've already made 8,100 won in 16 minutes. I've just been lucky so far and I won't continue at this pace. Also, usually I avoid cakes because it's really easy to mess them up while going over bumps on the road. But I wanted to try some new things for the video and it actually wasn't too bad as long as you ride carefully. <laughs> I talked about speed bumps earlier, and here is an example. There are so many different types of places in Seoul that you always run into a new one that's completely unfamiliar. I arrived at this villa and then he replied by stating the doors on the opposite side, so I checked it out. I searched around the house and I couldn't see any other entrances, so I had to phone again. It was hard to understand what he was saying, and eventually he gave up on explaining and just told me to put the delivery outside. Even though I've studied Korean to a near fluent level, there are still times when it's hard to communicate with people because everyone says things a little bit differently, especially over the phone. To be honest, it demoralizes me when this happens because I'm supposed to be able to do my job to the ability of a Korean person. I used to get frustrated and give up in these situations, but I've found it's always best to just keep on going. 평소에 자주 가는 김밥 천국이 있어요. 오전에 마지막 배달지가 이 근처라서 저희의 점심인 김밥을 전화로 주문하고 찾으러 갔어요. 배달도 가능한 곳이라 일하시는 분께서 제 배달 가방을 보고 배달을 하러 온줄 아셨어요. 배달 아니고 포장이요. 남편한테 배달하라고 해. <웃음> 작은 해프닝 덕분에 잠깐이지만 서로 웃고 이야기를 나누니 기분이 참 좋았어요. All right. So we've been going for just over about 2 hours now. And how much have you earned so far? 나는 2만 원 넘었어. 다섯 건 해서 2만 원 넘었어. I've done 9 deliveries for 36,800. Well, it's lunch time. Just some kimbap, kind of like a sushi roll. So let's dig in. After lunch, I ended up in an area called Hongdae. This is a popular spot for young university students to hang out in, and it has amazing nightlife on the weekends. It felt like the true start of spring, and it was pretty hard to stay motivated after watching everyone enjoy the beautiful warm weather. 
배달원은 식당과 배달지에 따라 근무하는 곳이 매번 달라요. 활동하는 곳이 넓다 보니 여러 다른 곳에서 다양한 사람을 만날 수 있는 기회가 정말 많아요. 이날 배달을 하다가 우연히 한 분의 선행을 보았어요. 세상은 아직 살만한 곳이구나 싶으면서 마음이 따뜻해지더라고요. 때론 직접 이야기를 하지 않고 관찰만으로도 많은 것을 배우고 느낄 때가 있어요. 새로운 전기자전거 덕에 언덕의 높이와 상관없이 어디든 쉽게 갈수 있어요. 몸과 마음에 생긴 여유 덕에 배달이 더 재밌어졌어요. 안녕하세요. 네. 네. 어, 어, 어떻게 찾아가? 네, 여기 맞아요. 네, 네. <웃음> 네, 감사합니다. 네. 수고하세요. As a foreigner living in a super homogenous Korea, you get a lot of interesting reactions, especially if you're working a job that almost no foreigners do. It's possible to take the surprised reactions in a positive or negative light, and a lot of it depends on the mood you're in on that day. Trust me, after eight and a half years of living here, you're bound to have some slip-ups from time to time. However, I've never run into someone who has deliberately tried to poke fun at me in this manner, no matter how terrible my Korean pronunciation is. It all stems from curiosity of the unknown, and whenever I react positively, it always creates a really warm interaction for both sides. And those have been some of my most treasured moments living here, and I strive to make as many as possible in the future. <laughs> 네, 맛있게 드세요. 네. 사람 피하랴, 차 피하랴. 배달권이 10개가 넘어가자 몸보다 머리가 많이 피곤해졌어요. 그래서 잠시 배달을 멈추고 높은 곳에서 경치를 감상했어요. 오전과는 달리 오후 3시부터 사람이 정말 많아졌어요. 특히 나란히 걸어가셔서 지나갈 공간이 없었어요. 한 남성분은 제게 짜증을 내셨어요. 머리가 많이 지친 상태라 짜증을 그냥 받아 넘기기가 정말 힘들었어요. 과연 내가 10만 원을 채울 수 있을까 하는 생각도 들었어요. It was now 3:30 p.m. and I was getting really close to the 100,000 won mark. The battery on my e-bike was almost dead, and I accidentally accepted a delivery from a movie theater. These types of deliveries are the least efficient, because you have to navigate so far just to find the pickup spot. Since I was getting so close to finishing for the day, I didn't really care too much. I knew the day was almost over, and I had some extra freedom inside of me just to accept it as a new experience. One extra thing to note though is that delivering drinks always makes me nervous, so I'd only recommend accepting orders with cold drinks to start, because they can fully seal those. 안녕하세요. It was time to finish, and the battery warning on my bike was now flashing, so I stopped using it except for the uphill areas just to help out a little bit. I wasn't that tired anyways, so it wasn't an epic battle for the finish or anything. To me, I was just happy that the day was coming to an end, and I felt a lot of respect for the delivery people that work this kind of shift every day. I've never been someone who can work a 40-hour week, and the longest time I've kept a job like that is exactly one year when I first came to Korea to teach English. If Yujin and I had full-time jobs, we'd definitely live in a nicer place with more space and a nice big TV. But I wouldn't trade my free time for more living space even if someone paid me to do so. Ugadeni 가끔 여자 라이더가 올 거라 기대하지 않는 곳도 있어요. 그만큼 여자 라이더가 많지 않거든요. 나는 미용할 거 같아. 네, 페미니아. 네, 네. 여자분 같네. 네. 그래서 여자 라이더분을 보면 반가워서 먼저 말을 걸기도 해요. 안녕하세요. 뭐 하세요? 페미나세요? 파마세요? 아, 가게 하시는 거예요? 아, 멋있다.
드디어 마지막 식당에 도착했어요. 노래마저 엔딩곡이 나오고 있었어요. 게다가 마지막 배달지에선 예상하지 못했던 한강뷰까지 볼수 있었어요. 노을을 보니 힘들었던 하루는 잊혀지고 뿌듯한 마음만 남더라고요. 자유비! 자유비! <웃음> 잘했네! 이대로? 내 기분이 좋지? 어 근데 생각보다 안 힘들었어 근데 이 10만 원이라는 걸 제외하고는 그닥 굳이 하루 종일 해야 되나 이런 생각이 들어가지고 오늘은 그냥 딱 나한테 얼마 정도를 버는 게 진짜 괜찮은지 하루를 이제 잘 쓰고도 배달까지 잘할수 있는지 그 가격을 알아보기에 되게 좋은 시간이었던 것 같고 10만 원 재는지 성공! 성공! <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned for our e-bike review coming soon. And if you like the video, please like it and consider subscribing if you want to watch more similar videos in the future. Take care and happy delivering.